machine on the key plate, each one of these little buttons will do something different. Your shift button is right here on the machine, it's there. This is the same as like when you're talking with a, a typewriter. Your shift button, see how some of these are black and some are um, gray? The shift button moves it up to the gray. That means that there's two images that this machine will cut on that one button. There's actually more, but you don't see them. This is where the booklet will come in. Okay. There's the font. There's basic shadow blackout up on this button. Plain base, font shadow. This is plain phrase. It's got built-in phrases like happy birthday is already built into this cartridge for you to cut out and put on a cake. It's one of my favorites. I love the happy birthday that's on here. Then there's plain shadow blackout. That means the whole image is going to be bigger and blacked out. There's no little cuttings inside of it. Okay. Then there's your material saver. That's a key button. That means it's going to put the, um, the cuttings closer together. Then there's real dial size. We'll talk about that one later. And then there's shift lock. Same thing on a computer typewriter. You push shift lock to make it stay on the capitals or to make it stay on the background if you want to keep it there. Because if it goes automatically goes back and you don't want it to go back. All right. So if the image is black, you don't want the shift on. If it's gray, you want the shift on. The booklet will tell you all about this. So let's talk about that. The booklet is in a whole bunch of different languages. All right, real dial size means that if you have the real dial size on, which is the button right here, see how it turns green when it turns on? That means that this is the size it's going to be. If you turn it off, it's going to be based on what you set this number at. So if we wanted to cut out a cupcake and we wanted them to match, we need that one off. Okay, so there's on the cupcake, see how the, this is the shadow. It's going to be an overlay for the cupcake wrapper. Otherwise it would be like this. So the real dial off, real dial on. We want it off. Okay. Then when we want to go to fonts, this is what the image will look like on the pages. Up here on top, do you see the circles? You've got your circle and your oval. Your oval is your shift. Your circle is your regular, no shift. And it goes across the whole key plate like that. Now, what's not shown on the key plate is that same, like on a keyboard, these are your numbers up here. So the circles, this number one is here. So we want to push font shift and our number one will come up and with there's the exclamation points on here also same thing if we take the font off see it's telling you right here push the word font fonts on shift is on then we're going to get that one the base shadow blackout we want to take this one off actually if you want the font you leave it on Base shadow blackout, it's going to switch it back and forth. Okay, we are talking about the mat, but we need to put some gum paste in here so you can see what I'm talking about when it's working with it. So we'll talk more about the mats and the gum paste later, but we're going to focus on this area right now. So right here, we didn't talk about the blade. This is the blade. This is the blade housing. And there is a cover on here that makes it safe and on the Cricut, we had the issue that the gum paste was wrapping around this blade and gunking it up where they came up with this cute little cover and it doesn't do it anymore. 
okay? So it goes on top. This is magnetic. It just drops in and hangs on like that. You put the cover over it. Okay? These two little lippy things have grooves in here for it to fit into. These, this housing will not fit in a regular Cricut cake. In a, in a Cricut, it only fits in the Cricut cake. They made that different on purpose too. They didn't want you to get confused if you've got both machines. Put it in and we tighten it up.